Hi, welcome to my channel. I am the Home Yosh, and in this video, we're going to go ahead and use Rigify to create a control rig. And we're going to use that control. I'm going to show you a little bit about that control rig. It's going to be like the Mixamo version, but we're going to use the add on that's already in Blender. And we're going to go and export that to the new Unreal Engine version. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do here is what I first want to do. If you want to follow along, I have, if you go to, I'll put the, the link in the description, but I have some free models on um, CG Trader. They're already rigged. Um, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of the rig so you can put in the rig if I rig. So we're going to do that right now. So this is going to be in the description. You have a uh, couple to choose from. I have like one or two $5 models. If you want to throw your support, that's great. Uh, what do you can go go ahead and get the free ones so let's jump into it so right now i got this character here um i brought him in to meet him on character creator he's already rigged up as you see i got his weapons here and brought in so what i'm gonna do first thing i'm gonna do is make sure everything i don't have no camera everything's deleted just and yeah that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna open up the character by going over to the view layers um, you hit the little arrow and it'll bring all his everything that's parented to him because he's the parent and these are the children so what are we going to do is I'm going to go all the way to the bottom here and I'm going to hold and shift and I'm going to go back up to amateur so now they're all selected you can also hit just A and it'll select all I just want to show you this is um, but it has the main select as top. I want the main to select to be amateur. So just hold your control when you go over here and just click on it and it'll highlight a yellow and the children would be orange. So then I'm gonna go back into the viewport here and I'm gonna go ahead and right click and where it's under parent, I'm going to clear and keep transformations. Well, I'm going to show you what happens when you do clear parent. It just explodes. <laughs> it's like, ah, chaos. So I'm going to control Z and get back to reality here. So I'm going to go under parent and clear and keep transformation. That keeps everything in its original position. Okay, so now that's done. I'm going to close that so you see the amateur is no longer. That's no longer an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete him. He's gone. So then I'm going to select these two guys here. And what I want to do is I want to hit M while I'm in the view layer in the details panel here. I'm going to hit M and uh, new collection. And I'm going to call it weapons. This WEP will be fine. So under that, now it has its own little, like, as you see, this collection. And I have my weapons here. So this is out of, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna totally just get, instead of, well, it doesn't, oh, I hit the wrong one. So under the my collection box here, where, it's, where weapons, I'm gonna hit the eyeball and the little camera. So that takes care of them. They're no longer in the picture. So we can go back to our regular, we got the body here, um, we got boots, we got the base, we got the eyes, teeth, tongue all that good stuff so oh, oh another thing i'm going to put this guy in the um this panel here so i'm going to drop him down and get rid of that there we go yeah because i'm going to go ahead and um add that to the amateur the control rig later because we don't want that moving because that would look if that moves with the face it's just not not cool all right, so I try to do it with the shirt and the pants, but there's something else I have to do with that. So um, before we get into it, I'm going to edit and under preference, you go under to your control, your add-ons here, and you'll see where it says all, and then you see the little um, magnifying glass arrow, the search bar. You just go ahead and put in rig. Rigify will pop up right here go ahead and click it to enable and that's going to bring in your rig so when you go under your character here so this is don't move your your cursor here as long as your cursor's here it's going to pop up 
Okay, so what you can do is you can hit Shift A, or you can go up to here to where you see Add, and you can add on Amateur. Now you got the basic, or you got basic human rig, or you could do the single bone, or you could do the human meta rig. But I like to go over to the basic, um, it's without hands. Um, I'll do a later tutorial and you can do the hands. Um, so it's a little bit big, so you just want to scale it down a little bit. Um, I don't have my, yeah, my shortcut is, is R. Okay, so I'm going to hit my shortcut hotkey and I'm going to just hold in between so it gets all the axes. I'm going to scale it down just right there, looks good. Okay, so now when I have it, I'm going to pull them back, so I'm going to hit my hotkey. I have W, but you can preset yours. So if you just hold in over like scale, you can see the different. But if you also want to change the hotkeys, you just right click and you say add quick favorites. And I already have mine on, on those. So I have mine set up just like Unreal. W E R but for the move instead of G I have it to W I have E for my rotation and R for my scales but that's something else alright so I'm gonna go back and select my amateur here I'm gonna hit my move and I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit mm, say about right there now I'm gonna go into the edit mode and I'm also gonna go over to here and you'll see where it says view display. So I'm going over data and I'm gonna hit the in front under display as. So you just pull down the display, view display and it'll be in front. And now you can see your amateur past the mesh. So now we're in the edit mode. So we're just gonna move some stuff around here. So I'm just gonna select this leg real quick and I am going to hit the, the squiggly line next to the one. I keep forgetting what that, what that is. And I'm gonna press three, and that zooms in right into the spot we selected. Okay, so that's camera two selected. So the hotkey, yeah, um, I get that name. But I'm just, what, I'm, what I wanna do is I hit the uh, near button and it's a little X here on the X axis, and I'm gonna hit my W for my move. But what I wanna do is, I just wanna move this guy over a little bit. And I'm gonna keep his pelvis here. Just gonna tweak it. I'm gonna pull up on top. I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit. His knees are fine. No, actually, I wanna pull this down to right there. To ankles, I'm gonna pull them up. I'd like to add another bow, but for this tutorial, this is gonna be fine. I wanna pull up the toes, maybe come out a little bit, give this a little bit of room. So right there. I'm gonna pull this down on the Z. It's too much of a bend. And pull this on the Y axis. And as I'm doing that, each side is moving, so you don't have to worry about doing it twice, you see? So I think that would be good. I'm gonna make sure his shoulders are cut back a little bit. Oh, I'm not on the bone. It doesn't look right. So I can also do, on the numpad, I can hit three to get my side view, one for my front view. Orthographic view, sorry. So right orthographic, front orthographic. So we got six, that looks good. So I think we're ready for a rig. So here's what we're gonna do. It's very simple to do a rig. So just as, since you already have the modification, everything looks fine before we get into Going over here, what I want to do is a quick control A and now bring up um, your rotation, location, scale, and I do all transforms. 
And as you can see, let me go back to, as you can see, everything was off right here. But then when I hit the control A, I do all transformed, everything goes snaps back to its original scale. So we're good with that. <clears throat> all right, so as we got that done, what I want to do is go under to the, uh, the rigify, the meta rig, and you want to see a uh, generate rig. So you just go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, it generated a rig. Now, what I like to do is take the uh, meta rig and just close it out. So we're not seeing it. And I wanna hit A to select everything. And I wanna make sure the control, let's, re let's rename this here. Let me hit F2. Let's slide over. There we go. It's better. So let me go back to select A, and everything should be selected. Control rig should be the main selection, and that looks great. Everything looks great. Um, I think the best thing to do now is just let's parent our project. So we go go ahead to the parent, and no, not the parent. And what you want to do is, like before, with automatic weights. So just give it some time, it should load up. Um, yeah. So now what you want to do is you want to select just the control loop itself. And as you can see, it's all parented. It's supposed to, well, yeah, because it's not in there. Yeah, it's all parented to the control rig, which is what we want. All right, so now, as you have selected, you go under pose mode, which I can't find a hotkey. I know tab just takes us to edit mode, but I haven't found one for pose mode. I don't know. There should be one out there. If you find one, let me know. So I'm just going to go to the top head here, and I'm going to make sure his head will move for me. So let's move his head. There it is. It's a little deformed, but it's moving. All right, so let's check. Okay, that one moves too. Great, that's wonderful. Now, what I found out is if I would go over to this gizmo here and try to move it, it's moving, but the mesh isn't moving with it. Like, I was going insane with this. I was like, I, I was, I'd go back, I would parent it, and then I'm, it's still not moving, and I'm like, what is going on here? So, as you can see, but if I would hit these... Um, you can't see it. This red box right here. I'm gonna make it bigger, but it would. I can move it. I'm like, wait a second. Okay. And then if I would go ahead and just move the whole thing, it follows it. Okay, it's on a constraint. That's what I found out. So that the constraint moves with it. It's like awesome. So I can move his arm down here. I go back to the rotation, and I can move move his hand that's great okay that's what i want but what happens i want to use these guys here so then as you can see from each selection this box changes so we went from constraint to ik now I'm like okay ik to fk so that's what we want to do we want to get rid of so in, let's go control Z. Let's bring this back to this original mode here. Okay, this is it right here. selected okay so this elbow right here it has on under the hand IK FK and now I should be able to move it and it's moving but as you can see now the IK is not moving So what I want to do is I K I 
There it is. So you see it snap back. So let's go ahead and move this once again right here. And now what we want to do is get this IK to FK. So these right here, you got the FK to IK. You can hit and it'll go to it. So let's move that back around. Let's pull this right there. Now we can do the FK to IK. You see? And then reverse. We want the IK to FK this time. I mean, the FK to IK. No, that was right, the IK. Okay, I mean. But that's how the basics of the control rig. I mean, how you can get. Because I was so. I didn't know how to use it. I was like, wow, you know, I get the IK to work, but I want to use the FK, you know? The, it's ridiculous. So I want to do the FK to IK. So that's how you can move it around. And then if you want to go back and change your constraint, you just do that through here. And then you're just pulling down. And then you can keep, make sure you always just make sure it follows. The uh, FK goes to the IK. And you're all, you'll always be in position. So you can just keep switching back and forth, making adjustments. Like this one right here is on, it's on FK. Now we're gonna make it on FK, return it all the way up, and then we can adjust it a little bit, move it around. Oh, it was the bottom one I was supposed to use. You see it went back. Not the FK limb follow, keep that to zero. Actually, no, let's, let me try that one. No, it doesn't work like I thought it would. So I thought it was going to follow it. And then I got a problem with my belt down here. I see that moving around. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's always something. So what I'm going to do with this belt is I'm just going to get rid of it. So I just... I don't know. But that's just a small issue. Um, to zero out the control rig, that is one thing I haven't figured out yet. That's one thing I did like about Mixamo. But it's very simple to get back to the post you want. Oh, and another thing is to have the mirror. So you can have him doing the same thing. Now, the reason why his hand is moving, because over here is selected, on, is on the IK mode. So, but if I would just go... Again, there it is. It's a little time, you know, consuming, but you can get it to where you want it. You just stay with it. And you can just stretch them out here. And here's another thing. Oh, IK stretch, here it is. So this right here, you see? Now it brings the constraint down to its original position, so it's not, so I don't go past that point. So now it's not stretching. I gotta do the same thing to the other side. So we just go and stretch it out. And then we go under IK stretch, and just bring it back in. So now his arms, you know, <laughs> they don't go crazy for you. And then we go back to IK to, I mean, FK to IK. And that brings everything back to normal. So we're gonna go back to object mode. But what I want to do is I just want to go ahead and export this here. Export FBX. OK. 
Okay, I got it. Let me pull this up here. We got selected objects. That's all I want. Applied my Y and Z up. Apply unit. Uh, use transformation. We have the face. We got apply modifiers. And we want transit space. And bake animation. And that looks good. Okay. Yeah, and the book I'm looking at is Unreal Engine 5 Character Creation Animations and Cinematics. It's a pretty good book to follow. It shows you how to um, create stuff in Blender and then export it into Unreal and export the materials. I'm going to put the link also into that in the description. So let's get let's open up Unreal. So now we got that. Let's export this first. So let's export it. We got everything going. Oh wait, no, I messed up. Now I got to go back. Let's go back. File. Well, everything's gonna be the same. Export FBX. I just keep it rig demo number two then. Um, up here where it says path mode when I found out the best way is just to copy and then hit this little button here so now it's going to copy everything now we can export okay I got Unreal Engine um, I got the uh, the updated version of 5.3 I think it was um, which is the same as the 5.1 it um, there's a little bit of updates so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my file here I don't know why it closed out on me so, so I want to go into my blender go into my FPX my demo guy there he is right there and I just want to go ahead and drag him in just like that now I made a subfolder as you can see under blender I put FBX and I made a subfolder called characters and so that's where I'm gonna drop him in at so I'll just give a little minute here and pull this out of the screen get it out of the way and I want to Okay, everything looks good. I don't think there's anything I have to do right now. So it's going to create its own material. So I'm just going to hit import all. And just wait for it to do its thing. Now it's going to import the material along with it. So that's why I made a subfolder here. I call it mat. What I do is I select all the materials. Okay, and I just go ahead and drag them over here. It asks me if I want to copy, move. I want to move. So just give it a minute. It's going to move it over. And that cleans up your folder a lot. So now I got these. I got the skeletal mesh. I got physics. And I got the skeleton. So it's ready to go. And I can go ahead and rig them up. And also, I want to add in animations. Um, you can do the same thing. There's just a little bit other um, techniques you have to do, but other than that, it's pretty much the same way. We're going to do another video later on about uh, um, exporting and importing animations to, from Blender to Unreal. So until then, keep creating. Thanks for joining my channel.